How are we doing guys and girls? Welcome back. This is Three Minute Thursdays and we are on move number... There has been seven other moves, so make sure you go and check out those moves because what I'm doing is showing you a sequence of moves which you can put together to create a routine. I know some people have been asking me about this, so hopefully this is helping. Now today's move looks like this. It's quite a difficult move because you're having to catch two objects in the same hand. So the first thing you need to start practicing is throwing the bottle up with the tin in your hand and catching the bottle with your other three fingers. Now depending on how big your hands are, I've got quite big hands, look how wide my finger and my thumb is around the tin. If I push the tin up, where the tin gets smaller, my fingers get closer, which means these three fingers, it makes it easier to catch the object. So if you've got smaller hands, try and catch it near the base. It does make, or it does affect the next move in the sequence, but don't worry about that for now. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it next week. That is how you're gonna be grabbing the bottle. See, I've got those three fingers. I'm grabbing the bottle near the neck, on the neck of the bottle, the thinnest part, which makes it much easier to grab, to grab, excuse me, not grab. All right, so first of all, you're gonna start throwing that bottle to those three fingers, okay? And the same way when you learn, and hopefully you have done, when you've done a hand stall, okay, you are taught to cushion the catch Cushion the catch, you soften the catch, which means it doesn't hurt your knuckles when you hit it. The same principle for this. If you just try and catch it like this, what's gonna start happening is you're gonna hit your knuckles, okay, and it's gonna hurt, and it's gonna be painful. What you need to do is, as you're holding the shaker, instead of catching it like this, and throwing it at your knuckle, you turn your hand out, and you throw it at your fingers. So it lands in your fingers, and then you grab uh, the bottle. So, you wanna get to a point where you can do a double spin and catch the object. Then you move on to the move, which, so we'll go back, looks like this, okay? So again, let's break it down, and this is what is happening. The tin is literally doing that, okay? You're throwing it up flat, and you're catching it uh, flat as well in a beer grab. The bottle, in the other hand, is coming up for a double spin, and you're catching it here. Now, what you wanna try and start doing is, instead of catching it like a normal beer grab, Try and catch it in those three fingers. So you can either close those fingers here like this, or keep them open and try and catch it in those three fingers. So you throw it up, and you try and catch it in those three fingers. This could be difficult at the beginning because you may not have trained your fingers to be able to do something like this, but the more you train them, the better you're gonna get at this move. So, once you get better at the move, what you wanna then start doing is breaking it down and letting the bottle drop. So you're doing this. Okay, letting the bottle drop on the floor so that you can make sure that you're hitting the throw of the bottle correctly. What you can start doing is what I just did then is trying to touch the bottle with your fingers. Okay, so just touching it so that you're getting used to where that bottle needs to be. Okay, you're training your brain and you're getting rid of that fear of catching the bottle there. So as you do the move, Eventually what's gonna happen is once you become more confident is you're gonna go and you're gonna grab that bottle. And it's gonna take some time, it's gonna take some practice because this is a tough move to perfect. Okay, but train your fingers. Train your fingers up, make them a bit stronger, get used to catching bottles in different fingers and different parts, and this move will become a lot, lot easier, okay? Remember about the different uh, points of the tin, where to grab them. Okay, if you've got smaller hands near the bottom, got bigger hands, you can hold it near the top. Okay, but just take it easy. Uh, get yourself a, a rubbery fly bottle if that's gonna be easier and easier on your fingers to start with. But um, good luck with this one. This one was a long video today. It was just over four minutes. But uh, I hope this is helping. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. And if you like the videos, don't forget to subscribe. Give it a like, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And I'll see you next week for move number eight. Ooh.